here is another laptop that I did with that vinyl. So by buying a giant roll of it from our vinyl, you get tons. This ended up being like a two foot wide sheet by like five feet long or something, it was excessive. I was able to wrap this laptop, this laptop, this power supply, and I did something else with it too and I can't remember what it was now. So anyway, we have to spin this around, take the other side off, the side panel here, these just lift up. Uh, now I gotta try and strip out as many wires as I can, clean this up because we're only gonna have the one drive hooked up, so we don't need any of the other ones, so I'm actually gonna need to find some cutters. Where are my little guys? Bring the big guys just in case. And then we need some zip ties. So we got some more zip ties, more zip ties, normal cutters, and ninja cutters. Back to folding at home. Ignore the fan noise, it's for a good cause. So now we have Vapor OS. No idea how that works. Um, so what we're going to do is, I guess, remove move these. Or probably gonna have to do this one. Actually, I think that's it. Hold these out. Hold this one out. And this one out. And this one's kind of squished in there. There we go. And these power wires. We don't have these in there. But this is where a modular power supply would come in handy. Fortunately, I don't have one. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep the, the blank drives in there just for aesthetics. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one over here so I have a channel on the bottom where I can kind of stuff wires because this is getting kind of cluttered. That'll also be blocking so you can't see any wires that go by because these ones down here will be, uh, oh, 750 watt. Corsair TX750. So I guess I didn't cover all the stickers. All right. So this is going to go, it's gonna be mounted in the top one. That's gonna be where the drive is. And then the blank ones will be in the bottoms. Just so the blank one there. Yeah, so these don't matter at all. So we'll just put these back in here. And this one can go in here. Then the actual hard drive goes in the top one. Now we have the blanks and then these here, somewhat covered by the door I'm holding. Yeah, so you can't really see in there that much once the door's back on. So anyway, let's turn this back around. Actually, I wonder if I could clean this up enough. Actually cleaned up the wires enough that I could have this blank and I could actually remove that. And I don't actually have a whole bunch of wires that I have to be worried about. I just have to figure out where to put this. Which, I guess, it's not really the end of the world. I could just tie this up right over here. It's not the ideal solution, but it's out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So just move over. <sighs> now I just gotta figure out these. Which one of these is set at zero? Out. And that means that I can take all of these out. Now this I will put on the bottom. There we go. I can turn this back around again. Get rid of all these extra cables. Extras of those. Thanks, Corsair. Making a case where you can't even put the SATA cable in. Awesome. Awesome. Those are all right angle ones. 
this. So we'll use this non right angle one. Now this can just go through here. Uh huh. In hindsight, I probably should put that in second. Up. Now we can put the graphics card back in. Oh boy, this is hard to get to. So I'm just going to get and twist the card a little bit, try and get those to line up um, offset from each other. So when I let it go, it'll try and twist back on itself. And then hopefully that'll hold it a little bit. Yeah, it still has some sag, but not a whole bunch. Plug in the 8 pin power for this guy. There we go. Okay, so I'm actually gonna run a zip tie in the front. I'm gonna run this under a USB 3, and hopefully I can bridge some of the GPU weight off onto that header. I know it sounds sketchy, but it might actually work. So I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit, get some of that in there. You know what? That actually worked. That card is nice and straight. Yeah. All right, that's looking pretty good. So let's hook this up. We have a separate power so we can continue folding at home. We need to just steal the monitor, sneak the keyboard, and mouse. Oh, right. Seems to be peachy. Hmm. Okay. We have no display out, which is usually a memory issue. So let's turn this off. No power to the USB as well. Good, good, good. And let's just wiggle. Make sure they're all good. Okay, that's power. It's not too tight. Make sure that's in there. Okay, uh-huh. That's good. No signal. Okay, that should have had signal by now. Hmm. Okay, let's pull all the RAM. the RAM out. Let's try one stick in a random slot. Oh, it works. Uh, where are default settings? Restore defaults. Yes. Save changes and reboot. Yes. Okay, so it's working. So I take this stick, which we know is working. I'm gonna stick it in this far slot for number one. Far slot here. Man, I really wish I could see. Okay, good. All I've done is taken a confirmed working one and swapped slots. Do we have video? Hmm. 
no video if it's in that slot. What about the next one? Nothing. Good. So slot one and two are not working. This is slot three. So slot three works. Let's try another one in slot four. So it does three and four work. Okay, so slot three and four work. So let's just fill up the rest. So it's uh, four, so slot five is on this side. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's see if that works. Because the chances of this not working mean that some of the modules are not working. And it works. It has something to do with slots one and two. Now what is wrong with slot one and two? Let's take the fan off so we can actually see the slots. I don't see any obvious signs of damage. All of the pins look good. Okay, so let's just try it again. Slot two. There's like no error readout for this motherboard. Or speaker. We just have a light for a BIOS one. Okay, that doesn't work. So for whatever reason, those two slots just don't seem to work. Oh, now that one works. We have 28 gigs of RAM. Sure. Hmm. Let's just try this one again. Again. Okay. Wing it. Oh, and now it works. What the hell? Oh, it is set up with Windows. Let's see what we got here. Is it recognizing everything? This build of Windows will expire soon. Okay. 1903. I7 5820K. 32 gigs of RAM. 500 gig. Properties not coming up. What? The administrator has blocked you from running this app. For more information, contact administrator. <laughs> what? What? Okay, it's formatting that 8 terabyte hard drive. Now we wait 